Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We have started a new series of movies reviews in which we will tell you about the movie, what is right and what is not in this movie. The Wagon Stand film acts as if it would like to be a meditation on power and guilt, but at heart it's a popular thriller in a bespoke suit. A thriller that wants to be more than that and stretch the beyond of plausibility to get there. Inheritance may have you squirming in your seat and shaking your head in equal measures. Friends must like our videos because it takes a lot of effort to make a video. One request from all of you before starting the videos. Like our videos to encourage us and we can make more great videos for you. Let's move on to today's video. The setup has a certain amount of promise. Maybe imagine the family from succession living in the house from parasite complete with a guy trapped in the basement. But then forget about comparisons to those assemble project because inheritance is really just a clunky pot waller that uses fancy settings to distract from the contrivances on which it is built. The film from director Wagenstein, Terminal was due to premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival and receive a theatrical release but it instead debuted on Drag TV. On Ghost Demand on 22 May where's the presence of Lily Collins, Charles Crawford and Simon Pig may account for a magicum of interest. It first 10 minutes are nervous and jittery jumping between different moments in the life of Collins who plays Lauren Moru a New York district attorney who makes up for her improbable youth with a sour hairstyles and a perpetually troubled skull. We see Lauren jogging in Central Park during a press conference, holding meetings and attending a campaigns, really for her brother Dan. She learns from a brusque reporter in the middle of the news conference that her father Archer Monry had died of an apparent heart attack. At this point, the opening credit roll and things slow down. The piece of the film, so frantic at first, gets steadily and portentous, gliding throughout the lavish Monorail estate as people keep telling Lauren, your father was really proud of you. They have to remain her of this because he left her only $1 million to her favorite brother, $20 million. But he also left her an envelope which contains a flash drive video in which he apologized for burdening her with a secret you must carry to your grave. That secret she finds out soon enough is buried in the backyard of the family estate, which encompasses such a huge swath of woods that apparently nobody has noticed the locked metal hatch in the ground. Hey, it's covered with an ostrotroph mat. Lauren has the key which is turned out lead to a fully equipped bunker where a disheveled feral man with literally long hair has apparently been chained to the wall for a very very long time. Later in the movie we'll learn that at least one other person probably knew about this all along which makes at all a secrecy in Archer's video a little odd. Rather than calling the cops which you might reasonably accept the New York DA2 do. Lauren is determined to find out exactly what's going on herself. You are chained up in a bunker and I want to know why. She declares to her captive and to be begin to get some answer. She is up for barbing him with steak, scotch and kill lime pie. The prisoner is played by Simon Pegg and her amount of way past coronavirus here in what might be the only performance Pegg has ever given with no sense of lightness. But he sure is good at glowering and acting crazy. He says his name is Morgan Warner and he's been down there for 30 years because he was going to tell the police about the fatal hit and run accident committed by a drunken archer years ago. A cog at the revelations and increasingly uncertain what to do, Lauren neglects a very important case she's prosecuting and spending. More and then more time uncovering her father's unsavory secrets, the Harido and the power suit says she is a professional but that behavior suggested otherwise. The deeper she gets, the more unsavory the secrets became and the more Lauren has to weigh the value of protecting the family at all costs 
an instinct that seems to come naturally to the rest of her family. You have to wonder if the only reason that even told Lauren about his basement dollar was to corrupt her from beyond the grave, but there probably would have been easier ways to accomplish that. At any rate, the impossibilities mount as the plot gets increasingly tangled. There's an uncertainty to the film's style, which rarely gets too hesitant or melodramatic as it concentrates the halls of power in which the family lives and works with the same little Dongian outback. But the story itself does grow more heated and melodramatic inheritance acts as if it would like to be a meditation on power and guilt, but at heart it's a popular toller in a best book suit, a movie that puts its pulp in settings that just might give it more gravity and import. The cat and mouse game between Lauren and Morgan, intermentally diverting but eventually thriving ends with a twist. I show down another twist that you have probably seen coming for a while and a final image that's striking and beautiful unless you think about it too closely. Inheritance is a creepy thriller with delusions of grandeur traps, a movie whose surface shame can't hide its seamlessness. But then, so does everything else except the feelings of hey, fill in the name, sure has got a good drug story. Our goal is introduce you every Hollywood movie and English TV series. We express your opinion in comments below and let us know how you like our videos. Share our channel and thumbs up on our videos. If you have liked this informative video then press the below like button and encourage us. Thanks for watching.